What's good, ladies and gentlemen? In this video, I'm going to give you my own unsalted opinion about Golang 1.22. Actually, the uh, we are a couple of months into this version, patch, whatever you want to call it. And I, I want to especially talk about the uh, mux, right? Because basically, everybody was, Ooh, the new mux is amazing. We don't need third-party libraries. And unfortunately, guys, I think it's still not good, right? It's still not good. Let's go. Let's let's dive into that, right? So basically, what they also did is the um, encapsulation of the uh, for loop stuff. You know what I mean? I cannot even uh, say it right. That's a good thing that they did, right? That was a very nasty stuff, and they fixed that. Uh, but yeah, so basically, what can we do? Let's make a router. I call it router. You can call it mux. So it's going to be, I think it's HTTP new serve mux, right? Just like that. And we can do something like a router.handle func. And now we can do something like in the beginning, we could do get and do a handle func here. Now we can do something crazy. Like uh, now we have a decent router. Now we can do, for example, user. And then we can do something like ID, right? And then actually we could do handle get a user by ID here, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this thing and make sure we can have this function. W HTTP response. Um, man, this, this font is huge for the blind homies. And it's going to be a uh, pointer to an HTTP request, right? Just like that. Uh, there's already a big problem here, right? Now, actually, to be honest, let's start with the beginning, right? Anthony, keep yourself, keep the focus on. I know you're basically, it's morning, energetic, HDAD and all that stuff. Keep focus. So the thing is that um, the most important thing is this thing, right? Now we don't need uh, another third-party router because now we can actually access this ID. And I think that's very nice. And we can do that by uh, our path value. Is it something like that? ID, right? Let's do this underscore is ID for the compiler, right? Satisfying the compiler. That's good. I think that's amazing. But the problem is um, that... What I'm missing, and I have no clue why they don't do it. I have no, no, no clue, because I think a lot of people have uh, put feedback into this, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you why. The first thing that is so annoying, and is so important in my opinion, and of course opinions are opinions, and sometimes people can basically talk me off my opinions, but handlers that do not return an error here, this is. I cannot live with that, man. They need to return an error. And let me know in the comments what you think about that, right? I think the handler always needs to return an error. Why? Because it gives you the opportunity to write your code cleaner. It also gives you the opportunity to add custom errors and central, based on your custom errors, uh, you can centralize your error handling and everything is just way better. Because if now, if there is a problem, let's say we're gonna have an error here, uh, we need to do if error is not null, and now we need to do some shenanigans, shenanigans, right? And now we need to return here, which makes no sense. And we're gonna copy this all over the place, right? Here and here, and it's just annoying, right? So what you could do is, uh, if, if there is an error here, right? Uh, you can just do this, error, and then you just, uh, if the error is not nil, you just return the error, return error, and you don't need to care about it anymore because you could actually add your own error because error is an interface, so you can add your own error type and you can handle it somewhere else, right? Uh, but we can't right now because they don't, they still don't do it. Why they don't do it? Well, I think it's all about the Golang promise that uh, the backward compatibility, right? Let us be honest, Golang is great because you can actually use code from 10 years ago, it's still gonna work. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's crazy, right? Everything is just compatible. Uh, and that's good in a sense, but it's always it's also blocking and it's actually a decision, right? You need to choose. That's life, right? Sometimes you cannot have it all. Um, but they cannot they cannot use an error here because if they do that, this actually this thing, look at that. This 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 thing is gonna change, right? This handler func uh, is gonna change here, the handler interface I think it is. Um, and nothing is gonna work anymore, right? It's not going to be backwards compatible, so they need to have something else. How could we solve that? Instead of uh, handle func, they could do handle func r. They could whatever. They could do a lot of other stuff with that, uh, but they don't. Right? I have no clue why. The next problem I have with this uh, with this stuff, uh, because people say we don't need we don't need to use third party libraries, like for example, Chi, Echo, Fiber, uh, Gen. Well, I think we do. I still think we do because there is no such thing as grouping. Right? There's no such thing as grouping uh, where you can have, for example, I don't know, like, like an API or an outgroup 
where you have, uh, for example, router use, you know this, this stuff, right? Every single framework uses the same thing. And you're gonna have uh, middleware one, middleware two, middleware three, and then you're gonna have an admin thing here, for example, admin. And we're gonna use, I don't know, uh, admin middleware four, and so on and so on. I think it's just amazing. And I think Chi does it very, very well um, with these nested routes and where you can add these middleware. I think it's amazing. To be honest, every framework handles it well, right? Fiber, Echo, Gen, Chi. They are actually based, they do all the same thing, in my opinion, right? Um, so that's a problem, but you could say, Anthony, yeah, but you just use a standard library. And yeah, of course, yeah, we can we can write everything ourselves. That's true, that's true. Um, but guys, sometimes, I mean, th this basic stuff, this is actually really basic stuff, right? This is not like rocket science. Uh, having the option, I mean, if they're gonna brag about, oh, we have this new router, this new mug stuff, at least add some more functionality to it, guys. I don't know what the hell is going on. People are basically begging for this. People are crying for this. Every single framework is using it. Why don't you implement it? Probably backwards compatibility. But hey, that's not how you're gonna make a language great, right? Um, anyway, that's basically what I'm thinking. So people say, yeah, do we need, do, do we need to stop using third-party libraries for uh, these uh, API servers or whatever? I don't think so, right? Uh, I'm using Qi at, at, uh, for a lot of my projects right now because I think it's simple, it's compatible. Um, it does not return an error in the handlers, I know, but you can easily wrap it. Um, and that's annoying, right? I think, for example, I think Fiber is returning errors. I think Fiber is the only one. Uh, does Echo return? I don't know if Echo returns errors, but I think it does. I think it does, but I, I'm pretty sure Fiber uh, returns, the handler of Fiber returns errors, and I think I love it. Um, well, I don't think I love it. I love it, 100%. Let me know what you think about the error stuff. I think it's just mandatory, and nobody can basically change my mind on this thing. So what do I think? 1.122, a lot of hype for no reason at all, to be honest, because this is nice, but still um, not enough for me to change, uh, to stop using third-party party stuff third-party library stuff, in my opinion. And I also don't think we need to see Go as the programming language where using third-party libraries is a, is, a, is a crime, right? Because that's what I hear a lot in my community, like, hey, I wanna build this project, but I'm afraid of using this library because people are complaining on Reddit and na 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 na. Classic Reddit, don't listen to them, they are all broke. So basically, um, it's, it's, it's good to use a third-party library, right? It's, it's fine, it's perfectly fine. Of course, don't overuse it. Uh, but especially for these things, it's very critical stuff. I would definitely still use a third-party library, right? That's basically my take on 122. I, this video is basically, I don't know what it is. I just wanna make it because people are uh, keep asking me about this. So now you know, right? Let me know in the comments what you think about that. Uh, of course, it's an improvement, but it's still not there where I like it to be. All right, thanks for watching. See you in the next video or live stream. Take care.